Okay, we're here with one of our uh, other 3D printing exhibitors, Airwolf 3D, who have brought some of their printers with them to show us. Hi. So could you just explain to us kind of the advantages of your 3D printer? Yeah, so we're very, uh, our, our whole kind of philosophy on our printers is materials and we are creating printers that not only print in your normal PLA or ABS printing materials, but your more engineering grade materials like nylon, polycarbonate, uh, PC ABS, some of your more uh, high, high grade engineering grade materials, your strong materials that you can really use in functioning prototypes. What is it about your machine that allows you to print? So it's, it's all about our print head. Um, we're not using an all metal design, which a lot of the companies are kind of gearing towards. Um, we have a proprietary material in there that we're using to create a very small uh, heat element in there where we can retract and extrude and, and keep that material at a very stable uh, temperature and rate in there to feed correctly. Um, we're also able to reach 330 degrees on the head, which uh, can withstand polycarbonate and some of your high grade materials. Um, do you have a heated print bed as well? We do, yes. Prevent warpage? Yes. Okay. We're, we're printing strain on glass. We have our own proprietary uh, uh, liquid that actually goes on the glass called Wolf Bite that we just okay. came out with. That stuff uh, prevents any kind of warping and it also is heat sensitive. So as soon as that part cools, the part pops right off and there's no fighting with your part getting it off the bed afterwards. Okay, so is this to improve the reliability? Repro improve the reliability and, and also you know resolution and, and the overall look of the part too. Okay. Um, do you know who your main customers are? I would say a, a very big industry right now is aerospace. Um, we do a lot with education, especially with the STEM program and things yeah. like that. Um, and then also a, a lot of uh, just engineering firms and, and kind of the, it's kind of filling the gap between the large project, uh, production grade printers and then the small desktop DIY printers. Okay, do you want to show us some things that you Yeah, so some of our of these engineering grade materials I'm talking about are the nylons, um, which you see here. We have uh, polyurethane, which is our flexible material. It's a very good layer to layer bond, so this is a very strong uh, flexible material out on the market that we actually develop ourselves. Um, we're also doing things with nylon, which I can uh, see. take you over here. So this is another breakthrough we've made recently that we actually haven't even announced yet, so I guess I'm announcing it now. We're doing <laughs> nylon with dissolvable support material. Okay. So this is a part before where we're using PLA actually to dissolve out of the part, and then this is after. So we're getting very nice, um, you know, more technical uh, geomet geometric shapes that we can do now to dissolve the material out. And what solvents do you need to dissolve? Um, right now, it's actually uh, it's a, a proprietary solvent, but it's okay. it's based on chemicals that are in Drano. Okay. So, still Just household friendly, but you know, not completely non toxic. But okay, we have a lot of people that tell us that it's totally dissolvable in sulfuric acid. Got it. Like, no, no, it's okay. still pretty friendly. Um, okay. Another thing we can do with this dual head printer is not only print soluble material, but we can do dual material. So here we have a soft material and like a hard ABS. And that's done with our polyurethane also. Okay, so you need two separate print heads to do that? You do. Um, okay. For this actual design here, you could stop the print, swap out the filament and start it again. But we can do the same type of thing with, with more complex geometry as well. Okay. This was actually something made by a customer. This, this was done on one of our very first kit printers. Um, this guy is a very good customer of ours. He came back after a couple months and designed this beautiful Batmobile. It's all pieced together in sections. Um, it was about 150 hours of print time. Okay, what is the build volume then? Build volume on our printer is, uh, on the single head, it's 12 by 8 by 12. Okay. And that's inches. Um, and then on our dual head, you lose about a half inch on the, the Y axis. So you have 11 and a half on the Y, and then you have your 8 inches and then 12 inches uh, high also. And um, um, you sell the materials as well? We do. We sell most of the materials. So here we have like our ABS line, we have polycarbonate. Um, we sell the materials that we use a lot in house, and that's because we can now guarantee the quality of our materials in our printers, um, and we don't leave peop people to kind of guess on what they should buy. A lot of the materials that are proprietary, we still want to test and make sure they run in our printers so that we leave those options open to our customers as well. 
Um, what's your most popular material? I would say uh, the polycarbonate is a very big seller, mostly in the in the um, aerospace industry. Okay, because it's quite unusual. There's it is, it is. Not many people do it. And it's really because of our head design and that we can reach that high temperature that a lot okay, of people can't cool. reach. Yeah. In aerospace, is it still predominantly prototyping? Yes. Um, you're starting to see the gradual move into to low run production. Uh, I would say within the next five years, we're, we're getting closer. Okay. But you know, with, with FDM, FFF printing, you're still running into the speed limitations. So. Yes, of course. Well, thank you for your time. Yes, thank you. Thank you. you.